Welcome. I'm going to do a quick um, unboxing video of these, the Orion Hotas that I just received. So I'm going to unbox each one of them, show you a quick look at them. And then I'm going to install the handles that come on the throttle and show you how they're installed so that they come separately. Take a little bit of time to show you that. And then this is the actual extension that is for the Libra, but it does work clearly works for the Orion as well. So I was quite happy about that. I think I, they only had like one in stock when I bought the thing. I'm not sure the status of them now. Anyway, so coming up is the unboxing, quick setting up of the handles, and that'll be it. Here I am taking a look at the Wind Wing Orion that I just received in the box. This is the box for the base. I'm gonna open up this box. Basically, it comes with a USB cable. The packaging looks great, as you would expect. And uh, it's going to come out too easy. And here's the base. Looks pretty good. Good packaging. Let's open it up and take a look. Ah, okay, that's great. All right, so that's the base. Here's the base plate for it. Everything looks good on it. Now here's the first test. So I bought the extension for it, which is supposed to be for the Super Libra. But the cable looks like it will fit perfectly here. Looks like this will go in perfectly here. So it looks like I'll be able to use the extension no problem. So that is there. So now I'm going to open up the uh, joystick and see about putting the joystick on there. Okay, now I'm off onto the actual joystick grip itself. That's the box. Let's open it up. Take a look. Same packaging that the base came in. Open it up. There's the grip. Probably looks just like the Libra. A little bit of plastic there. No. It's got a ridge line right there. Notice the cable. Gotta plug that right into that cable, the extension cable there. Now let's see about put it on here. And no problem. Just gotta get the cable to go down in there. I think that's gonna be the tricky part. Getting it to go work its way down inside there. Probably gonna have to work on that. Probably need to release it here and get the cable to go down there a little bit better before I actually mount it because the cable just seems to be too long, but I imagine that's the same problem, because this thing's the same problem everyone has, even with the Libra. Again, this thing's at, at its shortest throw, because this can actually go longer here. So I'm going to mess with that, and then I'll come back on the video. And there it is, installed now. It was kind of a pain, because the cable was a little bit long, so you had to kind of squeeze it in the piping there, and cinch it up, but it looks, looks, it looks like it fits perfect. Should be great and just adjust it to sit sideways a little bit so 
so we'll see how it goes. I bought a uh, a J pen mount for it. I just started building it, so it's not totally together yet. I'm gonna have to. I have two of them. One for the throttle. This one will be for the throttle. And then I have one that I'm building for the actual joystick itself. And since these are basically Thrustmaster, I think, equivalents, shouldn't be a so problem. The next item is the throttle handle, the F-18 version. Notice that the actual base and the throttle handle are shipped separately, obviously because they're going to be making different throttle handles for the base, so they already are starting to ship them separately. Not much to this. Base number one, number two, that's pretty much it, not much to them. And all of those familiar with these are Nothing too surprising, huh? Next up is the throttle base. <clears throat> USB cable, mounting hardware to connect them to the F-18 handles, plus the little things that mount it to a piece of wood or something. I'm sure you've seen other videos of people showing you the base. Just wanted to really show you how it was packaged. I'm going to work on putting the handles together, plugging them in, and then I'll hook it up. <clears throat> so the base comes with a couple of brackets, this little thing, obviously the two handles. So these are going to go on here. Okay, but this, you have to unscrew this little piece right here. Take this off. So take that little piece off and then slide this through this way and it'll sit inside there. And then this one has the little D shape right there. This is the right hand side one. And you're gonna slide that like that. And then you'll see over on this side, you just got to line up the holes and then screw in the holes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do that. And then we'll continue from there. Okay, I'm continuing on. So I installed that. I didn't make them too tight. Just kind of snugging them up there. I reinstalled this piece here. So now the, mech the locking mechanism will work. So the next thing I'm going to do is plug it in, and then I'm going to mount, mount the handle. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to do mount the handle, pretty straightforward. Plug it in, mount it, and then I'll come back. Okay, so this handle is installed. See the cable here. Good. So now I'm going to work on installing this next one. So I'm going to install that. I'll figure out how it goes. Probably like that with the left there and then I'll install that and I'll be back.
Okay, so I installed this piece. You can see here how it installs. Those three screws and the indents on this side, right? So you want to make sure that the screws are sitting flush and then this is where the locking mechanism would go in. So if you put this like this, put that in there and then they lock. it down doesn't seem to work all that great I'm gonna figure out what's going on there <clears throat> seems a little loose I'll look at that just back real quick it you have to click in really hard to make it sit in there because it's just a tight fit and then you lock it down and it works real nice like this stage is fine Okay, I'm back. So this one's installed. Oh, they're both installed. <clears throat> the tensioner <clears throat> for the the tensioner is just basically an Allen wrench down into here. And so you adjust these with the Allen wrench to adjust the tensioner. I'm not going to mess with it right now, though. <clears throat> I'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. That's the installation of the handle. Now I gotta install it to my mount, my J-Pen mount, and then hook it up to the game. Thanks for watching.